Alright, welcome back, episode 3. Um, uh, first off, apologies if you hear any sort of wind background noise, because that's exactly what it is. It's blowing absolutely hooly outside the van here. Um, hopefully you'll not pick it up on the microphone, but if you do, then that's what it is. Um, so welcome back to episode 3 then. So today I'm going to um, have a look at some of the results and try and analyse in more detail and give you some ideas on how you can analyse. Um, there's a couple of options to start with for analysing data and that's looking at um, the price. It's probably the most simplest. Um, so you can see the wins and losses here. I've had a loss there at 1.16. I've had a loss there at 1.35. Um, so when I say analyze by price, I mean by sort of this column here and have a look either at the price of the over and under 1.5 or the price of the um, home team. Because if you remember, the home team was selecting anywhere between 1.01 and 2. So obviously if we find a pattern where it's closer to 2 and we're losing more, we, we could lower the odds to more of a favorite home team. But that would obviously probably reduce these odds here because this is the over... Uh, 1.5 price um, so that's one thing we can do and the other is the which I'm more interested in, in this video today is the country and uh, league so I'm going to show you how to do that um, so this is the current strategy then it, it this isn't everything because it's actually closed down so this number is going to reflect what's in the full list so if I move on to history then Again, this is all just running in simulation at the minute because what all we're doing here is collecting data. So if we look in the history here, the first thing you can see is a list of all the historic um, bets. It's, it's defaulting to the bets screen here, the bets tab. And the first thing I want to do is just filter by strategy. Um, so I just want this strategy here that you can see on the screen because there's quite a few different strategies in here. You can see all the different strategies listed here when you click on this little blue funnel. You have to be quite precise to click on the blue funnel, it has to turn blue. Initially it's black and then when you hover over it, if I just show you on that PL, it turns to blue. Click on it and this window will open. So all I want to do is click on here then, Canny SO1 over 1.5 goals. So if I close that then, that's um, everything in this column now is Canny SO1. You can see down here on the bottom left, uh, it's building up the filter, so it's saying strategy equals. Um, what I have got in here then is some unmatched, uh, sorry, unsettled games. So these four, five here are actually in play at the moment. Um, so I'm going to filter those out because we haven't got any results for them. There's also some further up probably, I'm assuming, where uh, we've got avoided game there, which was probably either not started or abandoned partway through. Um, and if I carry on going up, yeah, someone matched, there's someone settled ones there, and that's when, um, I don't know, I think I had a Windows update or at least whatever, um, BF Bot Manager reset or crashed or something like that, and they never ever got settled. Uh, for some reason, so because they're showing zeros, I'm going to take those out. So the way we can do that is just um, highlighting that column funnel there and turn blue, clicking on it, and you can see all the different statuses there for the um, bets. And we'll just click on settled because that's all we're interested in. More interested in ones that have settled. Um, so there you can see there we're at minus twelve pounds, and we've had. 387 bets and 299 winners, so we've got a strike rate of 77.26%. So um, with level stake and one pound bets, we can see over time that this, we can assume that this um, strategy isn't profitable, even though we got off to a pretty good start. I think we're up to like high 80s, early 90s. I think that was just um, from the offset where we didn't have enough um, data back-tested data to actually do that. And I know somebody on the uh, Discord server has back-tested about 2,500 games or something like that, over 2,000. And that's come back as a, um, a loss as well. Probably about 78% strike rate as well, I think. So I'd, I think on this kind of strategy, we're looking at um, a 70, 77, 78% strike rate. Anyhow, that's the data. So there's one other thing we need to do here then, because what we haven't got on this screen here um, if I export this data now, the way BF Bot Manager works, once I export this data, it just exports out what you can see in this filter. So you can see down here we've got strategy equals canny SO1 and we've got the status equals settled. And it would output exactly what we've filtered out on this screen. 
So one thing that wouldn't output is the competition in the country. So what I'm going to do, if you just right click on any column here and just do um, column chooser, that allows you to choose extra columns. So what I want here is country code. So if I highlight country code and drag it up to where I want to go, you can see where it puts the arrows in. We can drop it wherever we want. I'm just going to drop it after the strategy there. So you can see there to put country code in. So you can see like HR is... Um, <laughs> picked a good one there. I think HR is Croatia. HR will be Hungary, Pales, Poland, blah, blah, blah. But you can see the ES will be Spain. FR France, etc. GB is a what I call United Kingdom. I think that covers England and Scotland. I think I'll check that out. Oh, well, it's definitely that's a Welsh game, isn't it? There. Um, so GB probably covers all the home nations. Um, but what we can do then is just carry on. We want the competition, so I'm going to highlight competition there and just drag that up as well. Okay. Now there is this competition ID. I'm not sure if we need that, but I'm going to drag it in anyway. Um, that's pro uh, it's just a number. Actually, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna drag that back out. So it's easy as just drag and drop in these columns in now. I, I didn't want that competition ID because it's just a number. It means nothing to me. I think we've got enough here. Yeah, we've got the um, if I make this bigger, double clicking on it, you can see uh, that. Oh God, I'm gonna have to pick one I can pronounce. Pronounce sorry, this one the Denmark DK and it's the Danish first division. So every single bet now has a country code and a competition. So I'll close this down now, this little window, and we, I'm happy to export this data. So I'm just going to click on export bets. I'm just going to state, save it into a folder, BFBM. I've got a specific BFBM folder for stuff I've been playing around with. I'm just going to call it Canny SO1, and I'm going to give it today's date. So I know I exported it today, which is the 19th. And I'm just going to save that. So it's saying it's exported successfully there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into um, the folder and just open it up. And that'll open it in Excel on my machine. Um, you can do all this in Google Sheets as well. I'm just going to demonstrate in Excel today. So there's the data there. And you can see the country code. We've got a country code for everything. And we've got a competition for everything. So what I'm going to do just next to the um, p &L, I'm going to import insert three new columns which i like to add for all the exports i wish um bf bot manager would do this but it doesn't uh, i'm going to click on in right click and then click on insert there and then i can press ctrl and y just to repeat the last action i'll just insert two more columns so in the first one here i'm going to call it result and basically all i'm going to put in there and i might not need all these in fact i probably won't but i just like to put them in so i've got them what I'm going to put in there is whether it was a win or a loss, whether we won the bet or lost the bet. And then under W, I'm going to put a 1 if it won and a 0 if it lost, because when I analyse the data, that comes in handy. And then I'm going to put a losing column and it'll be a 0. Sorry, it'll be a 1 if it lost and a 0 if it won. So this one here, then, uh, all I need to do is put equals if, and this is just an if statement. So we're looking at the P&L and loss. So if it's, if it's minus 1, we know we lost the bet. Um, because we're staking one pound. Now what I put in here is I just put in if it's less than zero, because uh, if we change the state to two pound, it might not be minus one, it might be minus two if we lost, but at least it would be under zero, it would be negative basically. So we're saying that if that's negative, then we'll put a loss, an L in there, otherwise we'll put a W, which is a win. So we'll press return on that, and then just hit this little, double click on this little handle there and it'll copy the formula all the way down so now you can see wherever we've got a positive number it'll have a w wherever it's got a negative number it'll have an l so in this one here i'm going to put equals if and then i'm going to say if this cell here is equal to w then i'm going to put a one otherwise i'm going to put a zero and this is just a number it shouldn't, it shouldn't I'm sorry, I'm right clicking it. It shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a currency, but we'll sort that out in a minute. I'll just copy it all the way down again first. So you can see now we've got um, this one's got a zero in here because it didn't win, and this one's got a one in because it did win. And I'll show you why that's. I'll show you how that, without explaining it here, I'll show you why that's quite important later on because we basically want to sum these numbers up in the pivot table that we're going to analyze later. So then we say if 
this, this is just the opposite. So if this equals uh, an L, then we put a one in here, otherwise we'll put a zero. So that's showing that we lost that one. Copy it down, so it's just the opposite of the one before. We could do this in different ways, but that's the way I tend to do it. So I'm going to do now is highlight those two columns. I'm just going to change this to a normal number, so it's not it's not a, it's it's not a currency. And I'm going to make it a whole number as well by just taking off, clicking that button there to take off the zeros after the point. So basically, all we've got now is ones and zeros in here to see whether it won or lost. Okay, so now I'm happy with that. That's all I need to do there. I'm going to do. I'm um, going to insert a pivot table. So to do that in Excel, and this will be slightly different in Google Sheets, but you just click on Insert, then click on Pivot Table, and it'll actually highlight all the data for you. Um, if we click on OK there and put it into a new sheet. So we've got our old sheet here, and we've got a pivot table called Sheet One here. We can rename this. We can call it whatever we want. I'll just call it. Uh, country for country analysis um, so what we can do now then is the, obviously with it being we're looking at country if we, if we look up and down this list here you can see all the columns from our um, initial spreadsheet data and the first thing I'm interested in is country because uh, that's what I've called this sheet so all you need to do is highlight uh, cl click on country code and drag it down to one of these four boxes here and I want country code to be uh, a row on my on my pivot table so I click on that and you can see that every single country code has gone in, into the list here so there's, there's quite a few if we scroll oops just lost it there try and do this one-handed um, if you scroll all the way down the bottom you can see there's quite a few there's like um, six about 65 in total over 60 now there's a few less because there's two blank rows at the top on the header. And then the next thing I want anyway is competition. So just drag that down to rows again. I just drop it underneath country code. And you can see there that it's put every single competition by country. So um, <laughs> again, I'll um, miss a few out and I'll go with this BE for Belgium. So in Belgium, we've got the Belgian first division A and the Belgian first division B. Now this won't be all countries and all country, uh, sorry, this won't be all country codes and competitions here. It'll only be ones where we've got bets for. Um, so where we've got these listed, we know we've had at least one bet, if not more, for that combination. So the next thing I'm interested in is, right, I want to know if I've been profitable for each of these. Um, I'm happy with the country code and competition. I want to know if I've been profitable. So there's our P&L. If you're unsure about any of these names, just go back to your original sheet and have a look. We'll drop that one into values, basically, and that will give us uh, there. So we can see immediately for Argentina, we've lost £2.09. And, and that's broken down by the Primera B Nacional as minus £2.33 of that. Um, but we've made a profit on the um, Argentinian Tornio A. I'm going to go down and find GB, so I'm pronounce these names. But you can see as I go down, it's, it's built up, it's given us good information there about the country and the you can see there den there sorry denmark germany the east germany and uh, we're 43 pence up it's broken down by those number of leagues there i'm still going to go down and find uh great britain sounds odd calling football great britain um but anyway you can see there we've made 51 pence out of great britain football <laughs> still doesn't sound right it never will now I'll call it UK. Um, so in the English Championship, and they're in a bit of a dodgy um, order because they're in alphabetical order. So the Premier League's down here. I'm not even what is what's Premier League Two Division One? Is that women's? I'm not sure. Anyhow, we're fifty-one pence up, so we've lost on the Championship. We've won on the League Cup, so the Football League Cup might be a good one to look at. Uh, League 1 were down, League 2 were slightly down. Um, and so we've got all this information, which is useful. But that doesn't tell us then, okay then, so how many... Uh, well, it would be useful to know how many bets these numbers are made up of. So we can just drag anything down here. Well, more or less anything. I'm going to drag the result down though. And I'm going to stick it just in front of profit and loss so we can see the number of bets. So you can see here now then, uh, this 51 pence has been made up of 44 bets. 
three in the English Championship, where we've lost three sixty, uh, one sixty-two. Um, a profitable one there. We in the English National League South has been made up of five bets, where we've won one pound forty-seven. Um, so, if I just go back to the top, you can see uh, the count of results. I'm just going to change some of these just to. Uh, so I'm going to call that bets for the number of bets, and I'm going to just call this profit. Just tidying this up a little bit as we go. Okay, and I can just resize these a little bit. I'll pull them out a little bit, just so it's a little bit more space. So you can see there, then that's that's more useful. We've got the number of bets and um, how that's turned out profit-wise. But what we still can't see is whereby um, you can't see the number of win and, uh, wins and losses. That's what I put those two extra columns in. So for this one, for example, you can't see if that's a win and a loss or uh, two wins. It's, it's more likely to be two wins of about 20 pence each. This is probably going to be uh, one loss because when we lose, we'll lose a pound in a win. And this is likely to be two wins as well. But what we can actually do is we've got a win and loss column here. Uh, I'll put that after the bets and before the profit. That's our number of wins there gone in. And then we can put the losses after it. So if we go back to the top, um, I'll change this to one and lost. See now that in Argentina then, um, we've had five bets in total. Uh, we've won two and lost three. We've got a profit of minus two pounds, nine pence. Now that's broken down by competition. Um, we've had four bets on the Premier B League and then we've had one bet on the A League, or the Torneo A League. And you can see that's a 24 pence profit. Um, one thing you can see from this is the data, even though if we go right down to the bottom, these are all the bets. It's spread over all these different leagues and competitions. If we go down at the bottom, we've got 387 bets. We've won 299 and we've lost 88 and we're £12.10 pence down. Um, these numbers here are very, very small. The sample set is still tiny, even though we've had 387 bets. We've only had like, say, three bets on in thailand we've had five in turkey there's non double figures the only double figure one is this blank one that's why there's no country code and that sort of is like all your um internationals and all your world friendlies because they're not associated with specific specific country or nation Um, even that one is probably that hasn't got it i thought that was like this must be like a south american thing where it's uh Teams from different nations playing in them, so it still hasn't got a country code. Um, you can see we're 47 pence up across all those, but you can also see that we've lost 8 of 30 games in the Europa Conference qualifier, so it might be worth ditching that. But again, even that, I'd probably want to have a look at like where you've got 100 in every single one of these before you can actually make any decision. At least 100, maybe more. Let's be honest. The data isn't there. We, we haven't even got 10. 10 there for Norway, but it's across like three different leagues. For a specific league, I don't think we've got double figures yet. We just have to keep going. So the, I think the conclusion here is, yeah, um, is probably just keep loading this data in as we get to 1,000 bets, as we get to 2,000 bets, as we get to 5,000 bets, 10,000 bets. Um, just loading the data and then having a look at this table because all we all we need to do basically now now we've got this spreadsheet is plug the new data in here and um, so if I go to the bottom of this sheet here you can see there's 388 rows once we've got like say 5,000 rows plug, you know you just plug it back in and then go back to this tab and this would refresh with the data Okay, so that's our on. Uh, I just wanted to go through how you would, be, how you could or can analyze data from uh, Betfair Bot Manager in here. And uh, my conclusion is, uh, this is a nice little table to give me a good understanding of the different countries and different leagues and which ones are looking profitable, which ones aren't. But um, the underlying, well, the final conclusion is there's just not enough data here. Okay, that's it for this one. Thanks now. Cheers. Gun canny.